l'argent. Right. So, tell me a little, a little bit about uh, the uh, the contest. Um, actually, the board decided that we wanted to give uh, something back to kids in the area, which we have in the past, but it was uh, um, an idea uh, myself and uh, Beth Hunt had about why not make it for literacy. I'm, I'm an English teacher, so it just made a good sense to start try to get uh, money into books. I still love books, regardless of all the other uh, media things that are going on, and so we thought what a terrific way to sort of get the ball rolling with some publicity and also to give some money away. So that's how the idea started. Okay. And what about you? What about you? What about you, Cassie? What do you think about it? Um, I thought it was great because I really do love to read, and if we like got the money, that'd be just awesome. <laughs> it'd be there'd be a whole lot more books yeah. to try. <laughs> and what about you? We were delighted. We're not a terribly large school in comparison to some of the other area schools. And, uh, but we were pretty proud of Cassie being, <laughs> being Annie, so we had, um, we had it on the announcements and we were really talking it up here at school. So we were surprised, but tickled pink when it turned out that we were the ones that had the most school names on the back of tickets. Mm -hmm. So now, how did the, uh, just explain how the contest worked. What happened was that you, you went to see Annie. We, we dropped off um, posters that said um, starring you know, Cassie Gray and the other uh, nine uh, students and actually a teacher as well in the area schools. And they had the posters around the school. And basically, if you had a, a, a vote, you could buy a ticket. You could just throw your ticket in the box after you saw the show at any given night of the 10 shows that they did. And the, school with the most number of tickets with their name on the back one and Dale Road had 134 I think and uh, Gummo had 114 and Baltimore your, your <laughs> other school that yeah. you were at before that was yeah. third place yeah. uh, with I think somewhere around 98 or something yeah. and it was pretty easy concept but uh, yeah. it, it stirred up a lot we had 780 I think 790 children local children go to see the show That's out of the 3,000 tickets sold it's yeah. a lot of kids that is a lot of kids now, is there any plans to do anything like this uh, with the uh, the next show? Um, well, Putnam County Spelling Bee is, even though it sounds like a kid's show, <laughs> it's really not a kid's show. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, we were thinking well, maybe, maybe we'd have a spelling bee and give some money away, but then it might confuse the issue that, oh, children will come and see a show that really is for adults, so we probably won't do it for this show, but we probably will do it for other things as well because it was very popular, and uh, and we do put aside money every year for uh, charitable reasons and things like that, the fundraisers, but uh, def definitely the schools have always helped us with uh, programs, so I think it's time to give some money back as well. Yeah. Anything else that you care to add? Uh, just we're very, very thankful and we really appreciate that Congratulations. Uh, they decided to focus on literacy and because our school libraries can always use extra funds. I mean, we can't keep enough books and stop. Yeah, <laughs> Cassie, for voracious readers like Cassie.